So hello everyone. In this video, I'll discuss the concept of diode connected MOSFET and how the MOSFET act as a resistor when the gate and drain terminal of the MOSFET are short circuited. So when we say diode, so it is going to be a two terminal device. But as we know that MOSFET is a three terminal device, and in fact, to be more precise, MOSFET is a four terminal device. If we consider the body terminal as well, but in general, we don't consider the body terminal because it is short circuited with this source terminal to avoid the body effect. So that's why we talk about these three terminals that is gates, drain, and source. Now, to make this three terminal device into a two terminal device that is a diode, so we have to short any of the two terminals. But why only gate and drain terminals are short circuit? Because we can't short circuit the gate and source. Because if we short circuit the gate and source, the VGS will be equal to zero volt. But VGS is required to be greater than the threshold voltage of the MOSFET for the MOSFET to be in on condition. So that's why they can't be short circuit. Now the drain and source also can't be short circuited because if they are short circuited, there won't be any current flowing in the MOSFET. So the only possibility left here is short circuiting the gate and drain terminal. Now this has become a two terminal device. So this is the diode connection or MOSFET as a diode. And when gate and drain of a MOSFET are short circuited, MOSFET always lies in the saturation region because this is the condition VDS should be greater than VGS minus of VTH. This is the condition of MOSFET for lying in the saturation region. Now when gate and drain are short circuited, so VG is equals to VD. So we can replace this value as VGS and this greater than equal to VGS minus of VTH. So this condition as we can see, this will be always true. So that's why the MOSFET is always in the saturation region when the gate and drain are short circuited. Now how it acts as a resistor, this MOSFET with gate and drain, Shorted. So for understanding this, we have to go with the small signal model of MOSFET, which is the AC model. So it is drawn like this. This is the VGS. And here this is the GM VGS. Voltage control current source. And here this is the R0, internal output resistance of MOSFET. And this is... Um, this should be here. So this is like this. This is the source terminal. And now this is the drain terminal. This is gate. Now we have to short the gate and drain. So we can short like this. Right. And another way of shorting gate and drain can be like this by connecting both of them to ground. So this is also short circuiting. Now this is the VDS. This is VDS. Here also VDS, this is VDS and the current flowing in the drain terminal is the ID current. Now we have to apply the KCL at this node. So KCL, so ID is equals to VDS upon R node and plus GM VGS and VGS is equals to VDS. So you can simply substitute VDS here and by taking common, so 1 upon R0 plus of GM. This is the ID and now VDS. Now this GM can be written like this, 1 upon 1 upon GM. And this is ID. Now why I have written like this because when two resistors are in parallel, so this is the equivalent resistance. R which is written like this 1 upon R is equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. This R is the parallel combination of R1 and R2. So if I uh, say the equivalent resistance of this R0 and 1 upon GM is R equivalent, so this it will be written like this 1 upon R equivalent is equals to 1 upon R0 plus 1 upon 1 upon GM. This GM is the transconductance having the unit ohm inverse, that's why 1 upon GM is the resistance. So this R equivalent is the parallel combination of R0 parallel with 1 upon GM. So simply substituting here, so this is the 1 upon R equivalent. Now VDS upon AD 
is equals to R equal to which is equals to R not parallel with one upon J and this is nothing but the resistance which is offered by the MOSFET when gate and drain are short separated. So this is the resistance R not parallel with one upon J. Now we in writing the resistance VDS upon ID which is equals to R not parallel with one upon GM. So this R naught is defined as one upon lambda into ID. This is the channel length modulation parameter, and this value of R naught is a high value. Uh, we can let here take 50 kilo, ohm and we can let the value of GM also. That is, let's say 40 milliampere per volt. So one upon GM will be thousand upon 40. That will be 25 ohms. So we can clearly see that when 50 kilo ohm is in parallel with 25 ohm, so it will be approximately equals to 25 ohm because this is a very high value and this is a low value. And when high is in the parallel combination of lows, so it is approximately equals to the low value. So what I want to say here that VDS upon ID, which is the resistance offered by the MOSFET, can be approximated to 1 upon gm so this is the approximation result and we can in fact understand this approximation from here also so i should write again so id is equals to vds and this is 1 upon r0 plus of gm now simply taking the lcm so it will be 1 plus gm r0 upon of r0 now if i consider the value of gm to be 40 million per which and this is 50 ohm 50 kilo ohm so you can see that the gm r naught product will be very 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 one right so this one will be neglected this will be gm r naught upon r naught so r naught will be cancelled out and from here also we can see that vds upon id is equals to one upon gm so this is the approximation and this is the value of resistance that is R0 parallel with 1 upon GM. So whenever the gate and drain of MOSFET is short circuited, so it is as equivalent to this resistance having the value R0 parallel with 1 upon GM. So we can simply replace this MOSFET with this resistor that is R0 parallel with 1 upon GM. And this is the concept of diode connected MOSFET and this is how it act as a resistor when gate and drain are short circuited. So okay, thank you.